Pop Trigger here at South by Southwest, and we're here in the Canon Filmmakers Lounge, and we're so excited because we get to be here with now filmmaker, yeah, appropriate filmmaker Justine for uh, Lizzie Velasquez's story, and it's called A Brave Heart, which is so appropriately titled. So first I want to ask you, one, this movie is not only a powerful movie, but it's now becoming a movement. So what influenced you to spearhead this? And then also, how did you meet Lizzie? So it's kind of crazy. I met Lizzie on Instagram, of all places. I had been following her because I saw someone, one of my other friends posted a picture with her, and then I followed her from there. So then I was following her for a couple of years, and I left a comment on one of her pictures, said, oh, that's, that's cute or something. And then she started freaking out. She's like, oh my gosh, Justine left a comment. And then I was freaking out because then Lizzie commented back to my comment. So we're both respectively freaking out at this point. And then I started talking to her. And then two or three years ago, I met her in Austin. I was on a panel, so I invited her to come see it. And then now, two or three years later, we just did a panel together here in Austin. So it kind of brought it all full circle. And it's just, she's just an amazing person and, and just such a great friend. So I'm just so happy to be a part of it. What she doesn't want is to bully the bullies. So when you we're, know. yeah, no, and, but it's so hard because when you see these mean comments and, and when you're so used to like cultivating sort of these communities, you know, the one video that she had posted or that was posted about her, it was, it was the world's ugliest woman. And when she saw this, video, you know, she didn't have any YouTube content herself. So she took that and was like, I'm going to tell my own story. Wow. Started her channel to tell her own story. And then now those negative comments were all positive. And when someone will leave a mean comment, your community will, will fight back and, and they will try to, to defend you. And that's something that you're ultimately being a bully to this bully. And then you click through and it's like a 10 year old kid. So there's adults bullying these children. So it's, it's something that we don't want. I mean, it's just be happy, be nice to people, have fun and just know that there is somebody on the other side of that keyboard that you are being mean to and they have feelings as well. I will get maybe a handful of really positive comments and if I get one really mean or negative one, it will stick with me all day. And that's just my little story. I can't imagine what Lizzie's gone through, what other people have gone through. So it's really important that we do uh, create some sort of legislature or something where we can have something to help prevent online bullying because we gotta keep up with the digital era. And I feel like that's something that you and Lizzie are doing. I mean, Lizzie has already attempted to pass a bill, am I right? Yeah, and, and I can't wait for people to see the film. And it did premiere here at South By. And I mean, it, it was just like they got two standing ovations. And it was just, and everyone crying. And it's just so emotional. And, and for Lizzie to be able to tell this story and to have just I don't know, just the willpower to be able to do this and be able to spearhead this entire thing. And it's, it's amazing. And it's kind of crazy because we want bullying to be illegal. Obviously, you're not going to go rob a bank. That's illegal. Maybe if bullying is, that's something that it's sad that you have to have that. That has to be an illegal thing for you to do to make it actually make a difference. I mean, I think everyone has, has had that and I don't know. I mean, I just I don't know if I have the right or the wrong answers. I think it's just one of those things that you just you have to you're just figuring it out together. Isn't it such a tough thing to have to deal with because you on the one hand you do want bullying to go away but there's some of those people that believe free speech so you can do and say whatever you want and also bullying builds character and stuff like that and it's like how far is too far I guess that's like right when someone commits suicide which happens which happens or they decide to uh, deal with it internally and that comes through with an eating disorder so it is so pervasive nowadays and I just applaud you and I applaud Lizzie and I applaud all the work you do too. I applaud all the work that we see, thank God, a lot of people are doing to try to change the direction per se. Um, also, something that Brie and I were talking about earlier was the fact that you're a producer now. How cool is that? So is this something that you decided to do or was it more of I need to be a part of her story, or are you gonna now continue to do more roles as a producer? I mean, I would love to, because I mean, I, I, I produce so much of my own content, but it's such a whole another world. And honestly, I mean, I'm Lizzie's friend first. Like that to me is, if she's happy, like I'm happy. And just to be able to be a part of her movie, like I'm so excited. And I just wanna help people see her story and hear her story. And a huge part of it too is, for her entire life, she's never had a diagnosis for what she has. So in the movie, I mean, you find out what she has, you find this all out, you get to meet her family. I mean, it is, it is just such a good movie. And, and I, I just, now I'm like speechless because like I'm thinking about it and I'm gonna start crying and I'm just so excited because Lizzie makes everyone want to be a better person. And she is so inspirational and I just want everyone to meet her. I want everyone to meet Lizzie and give her a hug. So now that you guys are trying to change the direction in the online community to be much more accepting and loving, what in five words would you hope people can 
adopt within a new mindset of the online community and how they interact daily with other people online. Oh, I have perfect. Okay, this is this is straight from Lizzie. This is not mine. I cannot take credit for it. So she wants people to take the high road. And what she means by that is when people you see people bullying, we were talking about the YouTube comments. If somebody leaves a mean comment, don't bully them back. You can write back, take the high road. And that's all you need to say is respond back to know that look, I see this. Here's your recognition. I will not accept this, and this is not something that I want to be a part of. So. That's a whole other movement. Hashtag take the high road. I love that. So please, let's let's promote that to our viewers. If you're ever in that situation, which unfortunately you have been already, you probably will continue to until we can start this new movement. From now on, don't engage and just write hashtag take the high road. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all that you do. Yes, thank you so much. I mean, this is amazing. Check out the film, A Brave Heart film, and follow Lizzie because she's so awesome. Make sure that you guys check out A Brave Heart, and we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.